everybody has their person. And a lot of times your person doesn't always end up being your parent. But for me, it was. My dad, we were best friends. I was literally his shadow. I was 13 when I lost my dad. He loved very hard and deeply. He like exuded love. He first was diagnosed with stage three, borderline four, colon cancer. This is the only photo I've ever seen of him without a flat top. He always had a flat top. Chani, she's my middle sister. I'm the youngest and we are now each other's shadow. We can't even go like 30 minutes without <laughs> texting or calling each other. I think it's a good, a good codependency though. Okay, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I was going in for my annual pap test and I went back in for a follow-up and they did a biopsy on my cervix. And they found that there were some markers for precancerous cells. Those appointments definitely saved my life. A situation like Shawnee's when we start to see abnormal cells, ideally what happens is those cells go away, but oftentimes what happens is they continue to grow and move and change. What's important is when pap tests are done and we see those changes, we can catch it before it actually turns into a big cancer. That's harder to prove. But it means actually taking that step, calling, making an appointment, and going through those cancer screens. You have to be proactive in our health and be proactive in making those appointments. Now I'm finding out more information that is going to help me make a better decision for my health, for my children, and to elongate my life. If my father would have went to the doctor earlier, I do believe it would have been caught earlier. It's significantly important to get screened on the regular for cancer. If you can't do it for yourself, go for someone else that you care about. Do it for your family.